Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a simplistic bloom in these colors. Um, my colors I'm using are Pinwheel. They're all this. They're all this little piggy. This one is sapphire. This one is tail feather. I don't know if I showed you the sapphire. That's sapphire. Um, this one is uh, submarine. This one is horizon. And this one is Mar maraschino. What I'm starting to do now before I do a painting is test them to see if they're all the same um, consistency. So this was my first test. Um, I didn't do another one after this. I just added a little bit more pouring medium to these two colors, these two colors. Um, tiny bit to that one, but nothing to that one. So what I just did was I just added color um, to each color to this um, board and then I tilted it to see how fast they run. So that's a good uh, way to test your consistency. Okay, um, what else was I going to tell you? Okay, uh, my consistency. I'll just show you my consistency. Uh, it's a little bit on the thick side, but seems to work for me. Just leaves a little mound. They're all basically the same. My cell activators are white and uh, lamp black. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe with the white. It's titanium white. They're all both. They're both Amsterdam. Whoops! Getting a shadow there. Okay, and I do a, usually I do a bit of a test now, lately, with the um, cell activators to see, make sure that they work, because um, I'm just um, mixing up new colors. So this was my black um, cell activator. I think it was a little on the thin side, so I added more black to it. And this was the white cell activator. Also, it was a little on the thin side. Um, not too bad though. So I added a little bit more white. So I'm going to put these away. Okay, I'm doing this on a round canvas. This is a 13 inch round canvas. This is the back and I usually tape the backs of my canvas or my boards. And I put, uh, this is paper towel in the middle so that when I am doing my painting and I pick it up, if I my hands touch the inside, um, this protects it. Plus, it helps the canvas breathe because it's not a solid uh, plastic. I used to put plastic on the bottom and it, it, it took forever to, to dry. So now I use paper towel and they dry a little bit quicker. So yeah, I always do that. So when you pick it up like that, you know, your hand might get touched the middle. So I'd like to try and keep it as clean as I can. All right. Uh, my, okay, my pouring medium right now, as I do change a lot, is um, PPG Kitchen Bath and uh, Trim Semi-Gloss Ultra Deep Base. I mix four parts of the uh, paint with one part of Josanya. Uh, varnish. Uh, my cell activator is one part oh. it's one part my cell activator is one part um, American Floetrol, one part Zinser and then I add um, one part of the paint, my paint, my white or black paint or whatever color I'm using, um, and two parts of the mix. Okay, uh, my my 
My base is Glidden Speed Pro, interior latex paint, white. And that's a new paint that I just purchased uh, a few weeks ago. I've used it a few times and it works really good. All right, here we go. I'm going to be putting this on a spinner after I, um, one of my spinners after I blow the uh, petals out. Okay, so let's get going on this. I might have to add more paint around the outside. Just making sure you I'm centered. Nope. Okay, what I'm going to do is this is pinwheel. Um the colors on top of each other and then I'm going to add them separate all the way around hope that works That one was um, sapphire. Now I've got tail, tail feather. I actually should be putting light colors in between, but it's too late now. And this is submarine. Horizon. And then I've got Maricino. Okay. So now going to put pinwheel right here sapphire then sapphire then tail feather Marine Oops. Horizon Maricino. I'm giving my cell activators a really good stir, which you should do prior to uh, painting. Just before you're painting, give it a good stir. Oops. I was almost thinking of swiping. Then 
in black. So my head doesn't get in the way. Okay. Um, Oh boy, I'm dizzy. Okay, um, just gonna add a little bit of I don't know whether I ruined it. Should put some color there first before I did that. Can't see much of the yellow. I think I'm just going to modify a bit first before I spin. Make sure that I can spin it. Okay, so this doesn't turn out. I will scrape it. I'm not overly happy with it, but uh, there's a lot of cool cells going on, so.
it's not going off the sides, so I have to add a little bit of paint around the outside just to make it flow. like it now. All right, I'm just going to just a few little, I don't like some of the things that are going in, so I'm just going to go out. So I think I'm done here. I just would like to show you the close-up of it. Okay, I'll let this dry and show you the dried result at the end of the video. I'm back with the dried result. Dried really good. It's a touch damp in the middle there where it's shiny. Just a little damp, but it's pretty much dry. Dried really nice. No cracking at all. I was worried because I I could have spinned it more, but I didn't want it to spread out any farther. I'll show you a close-up. Something that I hated in the in the beginning, I love it now. Okay, so thanks for watching my video, um, have a great day, see you next time, bye for now.